be I'll be quick, and then y'all have questions. Uh, first of all, um, uh, this is the third time I've been in this press area, and this is by far the best feeling I've had. So um, we thought we had a chance here four years ago uh, when Matt was the head coach and a really good team, and then got worn out pretty good in 21. And so um, I want to start. I thought Baylor competed really, really hard tonight, and I think that's a that's a credit to to Dave. Um, you know, when you have rough years, and, and we had it last year, and, and our kids really competed, and we won our finale last year at Oklahoma State and won two of our last three, and that really set the stage for us to kind of make a turn um, and went really young, and, and, and that's what they've done too. And, and they played a lot of really young players, and I thought they competed really hard. I thought that defensively they had a lot of answers for us in the second half, and then off, offensively kept us off, off balance, kind of uh, – um, bittersweet for me because um, a guy that was a student coach for us at Kentucky and then worked for us for two years, he returned two kicks against us today. And uh, Tyler Hancock, who's their special teams analyst, so uh, I'll be happy for him at some point. Not right now, but at some point I'll be happy for him. But, um, you know, I, I think that when you look at this game, uh, we didn't play very well. You know, we just did not play very well. Um, you know, offensively, we, we did some good things in the first half. Defensively, really didn't play much first half-wise. You know, the two kickoffs were huge. Um, you know, we just got beat in one-on-one -on -one blocks, and, and that should never happen. And so, um, can't explain it. We'll watch film on that, but that that's just not good enough. That's not who we've been on special teams, and um, that's not what we're going to be moving forward either. Um, and then in the second half, offensively, we got behind the chains, got some penalties. Um, and then, you know, in that last drive, you know, we were able to save our timeouts. We used them. And, uh, and Garrett's really good at the two-minute drive. We scored two touchdowns tonight with a minute or less than a minute and a half both times with, with zero timeouts. And he's good. His ability to run gets the ball down the field vertically. Um, I thought our protection, nobody's going to talk about this, but our protection, we five-man protected on the last play that we got Jaheim out uh, up the sideline. And that's a play that, that we've been running um, going back to, to – first week of spring practice, and we haven't ran in a game yet. And we run it every two-minute drill in practice. And so uh, they hung in there versus a really good blitz and picked them up, and we got the ball, and, and Garrett made a great play. So I'm really proud of our guys. Um, you know, good win, gets us to eight, gets us to six conference, conference wins, which I think is significant. So with that, I'll take questions. Yeah, I, I really felt coming in, you know, they played well for three quarters last week, and they had some, some drops, but they really got open a lot. And, you know, sometimes when, for whatever reason, when you have, you know, a backup has to come in, like people rally around them, and I thought they did that offensively. Um, and they, and they, were, they played with really good energy. They had some good, like I said, they had some good defensive an answers versus us in the second half. Uh, we didn't play as well, and, you know, Really, for the first time all year, penalties really hurt us um, and got us behind the chains. You know, it's hard to operate when it's second and 20-something. You know, I thought one of the holding penalties was absolutely not a hold. Um, uh, the one that took the really long run. Yeah, the long run away. That, that, was, that was a really good block by Wyatt. So, I disagree with that one. But, that, hey, it's hard to officiate. They're going to miss some, too. I promise you I didn't have all the right calls. So, um, but, no, I, I never felt really comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable at halftime, and uh, but we found a way. Yeah, we. Uh, I was just telling our staff we we do these two minute drills. Um, you know, if somebody else does them more, you know, maybe so. But we do them a bunch, and. You know, that's something that I learned from, from Mark when I was at Kentucky is a lot of situational football, and we do it. And, and Garrett's been around, you know, and, and here's the thing. In practice, there's a lot of mistakes in these two-minute drills, but they're also learning points, you know, and, and we kind of just let him play. And, you know, I think that he's, he's like my oldest daughter, you know, like some lessons are hard, and so you got to learn them by doing them. And, uh, and so – he, he's learned some hard lessons and some two-minute drills in practice, but those have really 
helped him become kind of the two-minute guy he is now. And so that's a real odd situation. You got it on the one-yard line with 15 seconds to go. It was first and goal. And so it felt like we, could, we would have time to spike it off the run. And so that's, that's what we would have done. Yeah, so yeah, like, let me tell you something. I, I can't say enough about about Zach Frazier, and um, so so appreciative of of him and his family, and and I think one play sums up who he is for his entire career, and um, and I ho I just hope our fan base really understands that a young man from Fairmont, um, his I think he's the best center in college football, um, he. Uh, but this is this is how smart he is and how and how tough he is. So he had an injury that's significant, um, not something that's going to be long term. But he probably won't play in the bowl game. And uh, you know he limps off because he knows that it's a ten second runoff if he stays down. And he's like I said, he's got a lower lower leg injury, and he he limps off on one leg so to avoid a ten second runoff. And I think that speaks to his intelligence, how tough he is. And uh, he's a great player. I, I you know, I'll, I'll, I plan on doing this for a long time. I don't know if I'll ever coach a center that's better. I've never, and I've had some good players, but I, I've never coached one better. And uh, and um, so, just really fortunate, kind of bittersweet, really. You know, we win the game at the end, but he gets hurt. So, um, my level of of excitement and is is subdued because of that. Yeah. Well, it's kind of been the the, the way the rival or the way the game's kind of gone since we joined the conference. You know, they've had a hard time winning at our place, and we've had a hard time winning here. Um, um, you know, it's a little bit different from a travel perspective. You know, I think that's 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 one thing. Um, the other thing too is the last two times we came here, they won the Big Twelve championship and won eleven games. <laughs> they were pretty salty both times. Um, and so. You know, I, I can't speak before then, but the last two times, they were just better than us. Um, and we gave them all that we could handle in 2019. Thought we outplayed them, but, but missed and got a field goal block there. Um, and then 21, they were just a lot better than us. Yeah. No, nah, we, nah, we were better prepared. You know, I mean, human nature is you think about that. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, I was more worried about the kickoff than any Hail Mary. <laughs> um, but we were, first of all, we were better prepared because it was they were using their timeouts, which helped them, but it, it also helps us. Um, you know, we blitzed this time. You know, you learn from your mistakes. You know, like, you know, I don't, I don't, people always ask about regrets. I don't know if you ever have regrets, but if you're in the, if you're in the sim, same situation, you learn from those. And and we learned from them. We, you know, we could have coached that better, and we obviously should have knocked the ball down then. But um, we pressured, and and I think that was a difference on that play. Well, you know, here's what here's what I believe is we've got really good push all year, right? And we've gotten it right in the A gaps. And Mike Lockhart and Sean Martin just have a knack for it. And so Sean Martin's really long. He's six five, and he's got really long wingspan. And so we've blocked three field goals this year, but we really came close to a lot. And so what happens is, you know, they watch film and the kicker's got to change their trajectory on their ball some to get the ball up, especially when it's on the left hash. And so um, I think that probably helped. The first kick was a long kick, you know, that, that, and the second one, I, th you know, I, I, I don't want to speak for him, but I think that our pressure does affect and here's the other thing, man. Like, it gets to a point where you're do a break. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, shit, how many years I've been here? Like, like we needed one. Sorry, I didn't see Ren's daughter in here. But, like, um, yeah. <laughs> but, like, we were do one, right? Bowl game. I don't know where yet, so you can't schedule, but yeah. Obviously you have one. Yeah. Well, I think nine wins is significant. Um, I'm preaching to the choir up here at this table because both the left and right know a lot more about the history of the program than I do. But um, only one, you won ten games in sixteen. Haven't gotten to nine since since joining the league. Um, you know, so 
get the second most uh, wins in, in Big 12. I think that's significant. You know, we go from 14th preseason. I tried to tell everybody, um, but picked 14th, and we're going to finish. Are we going to finish fourth? Is that we're going to finish? Yeah, somewhere around there. And so that's – I think that's significant. And then have an opportunity to get to nine wins. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll approach the bowl game like this is, you know, another than bowl game two years ago, we've, we've done pretty good in them. And we laid an egg then. But, you know, we want to – First of all, we want to win. Second of all, we want to make sure it's an enjoyable experience for our guys because it's a bonus. The next thing is 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 we want to prepare for the next year, and um, and so we can we can do all those things. And but the goal is to get to nine. I was trying to keep it over there close to me. Um, <laughs> You know, a, uh, and I think, let me, before we talk, let's talk about Hudson Clement. Let's talk about Hudson Clement, man. Like, was it two or three plays on that drive? You know, and uh, just a kid from Martinsburg, right? And uh, Martinsburg had a big day today, too, I saw. But, um, you know, he, he made some big plays. And then Preston, Preston had to leave. And so we'll know more about him, but made a great catch. You know, I, I, I'm surprised it really hadn't caught more. I, I've tried to talk about the kids from West Virginia we have on offense. You know, I don't know. I ain't been reading what y'all are writing, so I don't want to speak too loud. But, you know, we've been pretty good on offense, you know, especially in our league. Like, we've been really, really good on offense. And look at the number of West Virginia guys we have that are heavy contributors. And, again, I'll, I'll, I'll lean to these guys, the guy on my left and right here because they know it a lot more. But – I bet you'd be hard pressed to find this many West Virginia guys making a significant contribution uh, like they are now. All right, thank y'all. Appreciate y'all being here.